I'm full of so much gratitude to all of you this evening and all those that, of course, couldn't be here tonight that are, that, uh, are out there and maybe watching, viewing, listening. If, you, if you're here, you can see it, and I hope uh, those that are, are, are tuning in and viewing can, can see it here. This, this is a plumeria lay entwined about the crown flowers, the, the favorite of queen, of, of our queen. They're given to me by my mother, Auntie Aggie Cope, this evening, and to remind me, as she always does, in terms of giving me counsel and advice, the Queen's own admonition to all of us, onipa'a, steadfast, forward, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to move forward, we're going to be steadfast. For 40 years, for 40 years going back to 1974, really, about at this time, every waking breath that I've taken, every thought that I had before I slept was for Hawaii. It was for you and for all the brothers and sisters over these past 40 years that have given me the privilege and the honor to serve Hawaii's people. Faith and trust has been placed in me, and I've tried to honor that faith and trust to the very best of my ability. Whatever shortcomings I have, whatever faults that I have, I can guarantee you one of them has never been a failure to give all I can every day that I can for Hawaii. Yeah. I'm with you. You see, Dr. Amy Agbiani is, is with me, has been with me for 40 years, and she's she has been telling us what to do for 40 years, and it's all been right. Ata Amy. <laughs> and the reason we can say that is, is, is that Amy, Amy is the one who introduced Nancy and I together. What a big kiss. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there's that continuity. There's that continuity. All this time. And I've said on other occasions, and I... For those of you who haven't heard it, when I was first elected 40 years ago, you know, it was a big surprise to me. I, everybody, they thought, well, you, you don't have a chance. There's no way you're going to win. So I've known winning and I, I've, I've known defeat. But that night I knew win. But I, it was hard to believe. And so when I went down to the, to the state capitol and, and met with the clerk of the house, I had two questions in my mind. One, when do I get paid? Right? You were a UH lecturer. <laughs> That's exactly right. Because I was a lecturer at Leeward Community College. And so I understood the whole idea of when did you get paid. And that had been the, the, the way I was able to come to paradise, was through the University of Hawaii. I had that connection. I had that commitment. It was one of the reasons that I ran in the first place, was because of education, higher education, lower education. I wanted to do what I could to contribute, so I said, when do we get paid? I found that out. And I said, the second question I have is, where's my office? I thought if I could see my name on the door of that office, then I would know for sure that, I, that it was real, that it was tangible. And so they gave me the number of the office. I went up, and sure enough, there was my name on the door. The only problem was it slid off. It wasn't nailed on, it wasn't bolted on, it wasn't painted on, and that's when I realized it wasn't my office, it was your office, and I've honored that. It's your office all these years. It's the, it, the office belongs to the people of Hawaii, not to me. So I can tell you tonight, as I reach out to Senator Ige, to David Ige, our nominee of the Democratic Party here tonight, 
And I'm going over there, Nancy and I are going over to congratulate him, to shake his hand, and to tell him that we're going to put all of our efforts oh, behind Ohana's that going. came. Our whole, our, our whole Ohana is going over there to the EGA headquarters to tell them that we're going to be behind them 100 percent. Because th the governor's office belongs to the people of Hawaii, and we're going to do our level best to see that the people's will is going to move forward. To have been elected governor, to have had these four years, is a singular honor. It never occurred to me in September 1959 when I, when I went to that first class that I was going to teach at, at the University of Hawaii in Manoa, that first Saturday morning, and wanted to get those names right. And I thought, oh God, what am I going to do with this holly boy coming into that classroom? And the first name on the list was Samson Po'omahialani. And I got it right. And, and, and Samson came up and he said, I never would have believed it. You got it right. And we've been friends for 55 years ever since then. And that's the kind of commitment I've had from that first day. Hawaii is everything to me. And everything and anything that I can do with whatever talents I have, whatever experience I have, well, whatever capacity and abilities I have, everything is going to be committed to this campaign coming up to see to it that the fundamental values of the Democratic Party for justice, for opportunity, for all, that our diversity does indeed define us and does not divide us, that this land of aloha, this paradise, is going to be in good hands with a united Democratic Party that's going to reach out to the entire state and say to everybody, Oni Pa'a, steadfast, forward, aloha, mahalo, thank you very much. And that's Governor Neil Abercrombie conceding the race tonight. He so says that he that, and friends. his family are heading straight over to the EGA campaign.